Okay, so that's what we should have about it. Right now, it's approximately 11 o'clock in the morning. Now I've just woken up. What I'm going to do today is something uh, I'm sure is going to be a lot of fun. Is basically, uh, I was wondering if people were curious to see what a, a typical day in the life of Joseph Salem is. So today I'm just going to wander around with the camera and uh, go through what happens in my life. You know, just, just on a regular day. And right now I'm not actually in my room. I'm in my girlfriend's room because this is where I sleep every night. And so I wake up every night and she's over there sleeping and I highly doubt she wants to be shown on camera right now so I'm not going to gonna bother her right now. But I gotta head to political science class right now. Um, fortunately I live on residence so I can always wake up 10 minutes before class and always get there in time. But uh, so come on, let's go. Let's go to political science class. Right, so here's the university in all its wonder and splendor. Currently crossing the campus. Zoom in on random people. Currently crossing the campus to political science class right now. And uh, I like this class. It's short, it's easy, although it's a little bit earlier in the morning for my taste. Hopefully, it'll get out early. Early enough in time for me to go out in the town and grab some lunch. Zero so down the holes. Every single hole in this building looks the exact same. It's kind of like going through some surreal dream, dreamscape or something. Where's my room? Here I am. As you can see, I have to scan my card to get in. Everywhere in this place, it's like a goddamn fortress of solitude or something. Here's my room. You've seen it before. When I do video logs, and I'll be back here after lunch to do some work. It's quite messy. I don't exactly keep a very neat dreamscape, but uh, what the fuck am I talking about? Room. But I don't, I don't spend all that much time down here. I do work, I do play games on my computer over here. And, um, but I'm just gonna grab my stuff, grab my keys, find my keys, there they are. Grab God Delusion, read some God Delusion while I'm out. And I'll probably, well, you can see my beautiful cans of, and I'll probably, Look, see what uh, videos of mine are upload, are finished publishing, and upload some some videos to YouTube, so uh, I can pretend I'm doing some kind of work while I'm out eating. So here's the car, or my car at least. You can see that? It's, uh, sorry, Range for sale, right here, and um, it's a fine car. Very, it's older a little bit. But it's a, it's a fine car. I ripped the door handle off one time by accident. But uh, it's a fine car. Japanese, Japanese car. Very fuel efficient. Standard. It's uh, I love this car. Oh, it's got a very good sound system for a car like this. And like I said, the best part of it, it's very fuel efficient. So, boy, let's let's go get something to eat. Sorry, I listen to my music in my car really loud all the time. But uh, this, I'm at stop at a stoplight. This is a perfect example of, now, of, of where I live. Two churches right at the corners of the stop sign. Or sorry, the stoplight, this intersection. It's just ridiculous. I'm approximately. Woo! It's hard to shift and hold the camera and talk all at the same time. If I get into an accident, I'm blaming you guys. But, um. Approximately 30% of Canada is religious, and I happen to be one of the most non-religious guys in the world. Happens to live in the entire Bible Belt of Canada, where I'm pretty sure all 30% of Canada's religious folk happen to live. Right now we're passing by the, uh, the hospital here in Abbotsford. The city I live in isn't that big, but it's, it's fairly big. I'm actually not going down the main, the main roads right now in order to bypass traffic and lights and, and so on and so forth to get to my destination faster. But that is actually a very good hospital we've got here. It's a very fine hospital. I've been there a couple times, and uh, it's a fine example of our Canadian healthcare system. Right, so it just hit about two o'clock. And I, I'm out for lunch, and where I'm going for lunch is this Japanese restaurant right here. It's all you can eat. It's called Midori. For uh, those of you who are interested in Japanese language, Midori means green. And uh, 
I enjoy it. It's about 15 bucks for all you can eat, and I can pretty much gorge myself to the point where I only need one meal a day because I can only afford one meal a day at this point. So, uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Show you, show you guys um, what exactly they serve here. So after a brief course of miso soup and salad, uh, I'm ready to dig into the main course, which is the all-you-can-eat sushi. And I ordered a whole bunch, and you can see they arranged it nicely, a little plate for me to, to, to munch on. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and start uh, start munching on this food. It's, honestly, you know, these guys probably might be able to hear me, but uh, I don't want to insult them, but it's honestly not the best food. Um, not the best Japanese food. But it is a lot of it, and I always certainly enjoy quality, quantity over quality. So without further ado, it is Shai Masse, and I will see you guys later. I just realized I totally got confused. I'm going to say itadakimasu. It is Shai Masse is what Japanese say as soon as you enter a shop, and it doesn't really mean anything, but itadakimasu means kind of like a, let, let, let's eat, I guess, or... or I don't really know if it has any meaning either, but it's just what Japanese say every time before they start eating food. Alright, so I just spent an hour gorging myself. And, um, uh, I often go to that place with my girlfriend. And there, there's, there's uh, ups and downs of going to an all-you-can-eat Japanese restaurant with her. One of the downside is she can't eat as much as I can. And therefore, um, we leave before I've had my, 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 my fill of food. But um, on the upside, she always makes me leave before I eat so much that I am most likely to explode. Right, so now I'm back home and I've been home for a couple hours now. And right now I'm working on my Russian workbook here. Whoa, sorry, I gotta stabilize the camera. And I'm working through my Russian exercises. Right now I'm doing an exercise, this one. It basically says, see this list of all these random Russian words? They're all like people, ludi, and bishi, which means, one means people, I believe the other means things. And then um, I gotta take them, and then I gotta say, uh, I'm learning, we're learning the construction that I which means to, to like something. And then I gotta take a family member, the one I one have here, it says something like, Novaya filmi dravitsa maya utsu. No, uh, but yet, ni, uh, yemo ni dravitsa. Basically, I just, you know, you just said, uh, uh, my dad likes new movies, but he doesn't like ballet. So, th that's what I'm, I'm working through right now, just random Russian exercises. I've got a couple more pages to do before class, so I'll be back later when I'm off to class. Cool, so now I'm on the way to Russian class, walking down halls of the campus. There's no one here. It's very late. Russian class is at 7 at night. So I got one class at 11.30 in the morning, another at 7 at night. But Russian is probably uh, my favorite class. Okay, so I'm outside after Russian class right now. And there was a little bit of a lull there where it was like kind of Stalin, Diana time. And uh, most of that was unfilmable. <laughs> but. Now we're, we're outside, we've we decided we're going to go on an, an epic Slurpee raid. So we're going to go back out and, and go to the, our favorite corner store because that corner store happens to make the best Slurpees. Okay, so the intersection we're coming up on here, it has a church on it. And that church has awesome epic signs. So right over there, right there is the church and that's the sign. I don't think you can read it, but it says that Jesus is an adequate savior. This is a total resounding <laughs> advertisement for Jesus. Look at Jesus! <laughs> he's, he's only adequate. He's, he's not the best out there, but he's an adequate savior. I'm a big fan of adequate. Adequate is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, so these are the best Slurpees I've ever had in my life. Unparalleled in their... Slurpiness. Exactly. And I always go for a combination of grape Pepsi. That's why it makes me always say that they need to make a great Pepsi flavor, but no one's ever taken me up on that. I don't know why I'm filming right now. You're just sort of filming. Just kind of filming? Yeah. Dr. Pepper is superior. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It really is. We have to go home. Okay, I need chips. Oh, okay. What kind of chips? I don't know what kind of chips. That's what I'm trying to decide. Do we have salsa? We do have salsa. We have salsa. 
chips? You don't have chips. You don't? What happened to them? They got eaten. Oh, did they? I don't remember eating them. Me neither. Okay. Maybe it was G1. They probably was. She does that sort of thing. Steals our chips. Mm -hmm. So it's about 2 in the morning. Roughly uh, bedtime for me. Probably begins uh, my favorite part of the day. Unfortunately, you guys don't get to see the next part. <laughs> <laughs> 